thought we were boys. Yeah, cut. Okay, moving on, moving on. Lorenzo, I'm so happy of meeting you. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you that now Peru is in a party. It's euphoria everywhere. Everybody <laughs> is expecting this movie. How did you choose Peru? I always wanted to go to Machu Picchu. It's been one of my life's desires. And so what's great about Transformers is they allow you to, to go to these wonderful places that really many people never get to see. And so to, to show it to the world is so exciting. And the culture of Peru is great. And the jungle is magnificent. And we couldn't have had a better time there. It was great to shoot in Peru. It's funny because like any pressure, the one question I was getting a lot was like pressure, do I feel any? And right now it is, but making sure that Peru's happy with what we actually have on screen and how we highlighted the culture and everything else. Um, but the reason why we shot in Peru was, um, one, we were trying to figure out where Transformers have never gone before. And uh, one of the producers, I'll say Lorenzo, that was his idea to actually bring it to Peru. And then um, when we went to Peru and started scouting, it felt like no better place than to shoot was Peru. The locations were beautiful. Um, it felt like there was a lot of story that could be involved and, and impl implemented with um, the Maximals in their environment. Um, but there was also a lot of history to be learned. And I think uh, we were able to try to establish that throughout our film as we sort of track the storyline and bring that into play. It was like just being there, um, you know, Peru's a, a main character in the movie, you know, and, and um, just like going to Machu Picchu in between, the, you know, when, when, like when we shoot, when we weren't shooting, I'd just go up and just learn, just learn. We were a tour guide and learning how they built the filtration system and how the, the, the there was this one rock at the top of the hill where this, you know, the archaeologists in the village would go and they'd see where the sun was hitting that rock. And that's how they knew to tell the village people where to plant the the crops to feed everybody, right? Overall, it was just such a beautiful experience. The people were amazing. They, if we were like in these little shops, they found out that we were there, and then the kids were like coming to the window when we were traveling from the airport, yeah. and uh, it was really beautiful. And uh, a shaman came to bless us uh, for being on the land. Yeah, yeah. No, we had the shaman bless the set, and um, we, our first location was Machu Picchu. So though he blessed the set on Machu Picchu, we wanted everything sort of blessed. So we did the same in Cusco, and also Dominique Fishback went out and brought another shaman in and blessed her whole entire life. Uh, but it was it was beautiful. I was very much inspired, you know, when I would see that the Santo Domingo Church was built on top of the ruins and things like that. We would add stuff to the script that fit like the history of Peru. And then with the festival itself, when I actually found out the details of the festival and like how the different people from other regions came through to actually build the float and represent their part of the culture, I was like, this is cool. Like this is the stuff I want people to experience that have never been to Peru. And so we had to reenact a festival because that year couldn't happen because of COVID and quarantine. Well, it was interesting for us is we didn't knew nothing about that, but we had a script that says there's a festival. Mm -hmm. Like we made it up, but then we found out it really exists. So we just took that real thing to honor it and to let people see it. Um, you know, what was great was the dancers, the performers, they all have their costumes. They all know what they're going to do. So we don't have to do a lot. You know, yeah. we just have to make it was real. It was real. So you had to, it was our job to give it, um, bring it to life in a way that respected it. Yeah. It was so much fun though. It was amazing. Yeah, I mean that parade was was the everybody involved in that parade. They really like they were giving it every yes, single take, every, every take. single take, and we just got so to much see these beautiful pieces of art and people in these beautiful uh, uh, costumes and dress dressed in these amazing clothes. And um, it was just, it, I don't know, man. And you just you could just feel. And there is a moment in the movie in which they have an interaction in Quechua, which is I, what, my favorite moment in the movie. Who chose that moment? I don't know who chose that moment. It was a, just one of the things we've never done is we've never had a transformer talk in something other than English. Yeah. Um, and I, it was, it definitely comes from our wanting to respect the native culture, you know, the, the indigenous people and, and in a sense, the heritage of Peru. And so uh, we really wanted to have that sequence and involve uh, those people. Local people, yeah. But, um, it, it was sort of came from watching the experience, which was like, it was really interesting to see these two groups come together. And it just felt like one of the messages of the movie, 
for Optimus was say that is that Primal trusted people. And so speaking the language showed a level of connection that we haven't showed before. And uh, after this shooting, do you consider going back to Peru? Oh, for sure. We need a story that feels right to go back to Peru. But, um, you know, we didn't get to shoot in Lima. I, I wanted to shoot there, but we just, we ran out of time and money. Um, uh, you can come whenever you want. Yeah, <laughs> there's plenty more to, to to explore there. So it's a it's a really great country. I I'd love to go down a river there and find some kind of story along the river. Yeah, there's other parts I still didn't get to visit. There's some lot of locations that I'm like, it's a beautiful place. Uh, we didn't we didn't get to showcase all of it. Um, so yeah, I recommend for anybody who hasn't been there to definitely go. But on our part, yeah, I would love to shoot there again. So thank you. Uh, in Quechua, we have an uh, expression that means Urpiyai Songoyai, which means mm -hmm. thank you from all my heart. Oh, thank so you. So we want to thank you with this. It's uh, oh. very special oh. because it's from a uh, craftsman. Oh, it's this is cool. It's, what? It's, uh, yeah, Optimus Prime. You. you can show it if you want. Yes. Check it out, everybody. Oh, man. <laughs> No, this is cool. And this is a retablo. It's also handicraft. When you open the doors, you will remember our culture, our oh, people. Oh, this is beautiful. Peruvian spirit. Oh, man. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for oh. having our country in your movie. No, thank you for having me. Thank this you. is beautiful. You open the doors and you see the culture and our people in the vibes. And Anthony, this is for you. This is silver, Indian wow. silver. Whoa. Oh, that's and so cool. I hope you keep them and remember that Peru is waiting for you every time. Oh, oh that's crazy. <laughs> we hope that the Peruvians feel we've shown the proper respect and appreciation for the country. Peru, we had such a great time filming. Thank you for having us. We hope that you love the film and go check it out in theaters. Yeah, yeah, go check it out. Transformers Rise of the Beast. Bicentenario del Perú 2024. Con Punche Perú, Gobierno del Perú.